Hey guys, welcome back to Lama Tales and another episode on our Let's Play Chill Survival Series. Guys, this has been such an awesome journey and as you can see from my board here in the back, we have got some great projects that we want to get done. How cool is that dog of mine? He is so cute. It's like he's guarding this thing. Guys, I have an awesome episode today. I need to create a bit more of a sustainable food source. So like any farming community, you've got the options of crops or the option of animals. And today I want to jump away with my chicken farm because I really, really need to set up a good chicken farm. That means I've got some great food. I've got some eggs i've also got some feathers which is great for the new archaeology update so guys i think today is gonna be an awesome super duper episode we got a lot of things to get done here today guys there's a lot of things i gotta get building so i think the best way to get started with anything is to just jump away and start building it so one of the things i want to show you guys which i did finish off camera but it really starting to come together really well is my mining house. So I decided to create a beautiful mining house, which is going to be the central hub where all of my stuff comes together. So all the different mines and all the different places, I want to have a central point where I bring all of my, my resources to. And this is my mining house. So I tried to put in a... Uh, a lava source so we have um, unlimited sources of melting things which lava is really awesome i did burn the house down twice but hey who's counting other than that guys i think you know um it's really gonna serve a great purpose in melting things and making it look good i just need to finish up the roof because I did burn it down twice with this lava source i had to exchange a lot of things just to get it to work but i'm excited it's looking really cool and it's coming together really nicely all right uh now we need to get started on some of the builds but before that i just want to give you guys a rundown of how the iron farm is doing and it is working like amazing i mean just look at this I've got some iron coming in. I've been using some of it. It's really filling up nicely. All right. Now, Mr. Lamas, it is time for us to get cracking on that chicken farm. But before we get started on that chicken farm, I think we need to have an update on our list. So iron farm done and dusted. Awesome. And then obviously the mining house, although it's not fully complete, I think we can take it off. We will keep expanding on it. But yes, my mining building for mine, that is a done, guys. So we got that ticked off. So two down and a couple more to go. And now it is time for the chicken farm. So my idea for this chicken farm is two separate areas, right? I want to have one area where I have an automatic chicken farm which cooks the chicken for me it captures the feathers then the other side is where I want to capture all of the eggs but I don't want it to just look like a factory type of of look and feel I want it to be like two types of buildings so the one would be obviously a building that's got the redstone automatic chicken farm in and the other side I want to focus on more like a chicken coop you know with some chickens inside and a hopper system that's actually capturing all of the eggs but before I do this guys I need to fill up this area a little bit I need to bring this up so I need to fill in this area with some some uh, uh, ground and I need to flatten out a, a little bit more on the other side so I think I am gonna get cracking on this so let's get this area leveled out and looking good. All right, now we've flattened the area, but one of the things that I like to do, and this is now coming back to my technical background, 
with engineering is I always like to lay out things so I want to get an idea before I even start building of where I want to place things and this is normally a process I go through with every single build is I just want to get an idea do I have enough space do I need to expand a bit more do I want the buildings closer to each other a little bit further away so what my idea is I want to set up the chicken coop here but just disclaimer ahead you'll see that the chicken coop turned out to be a lot bigger than I initially just plotted it here which was great because I did leave that space in the front but here is where the automatic chicken farm wants to go and that is the part that I want to get started with first because that is the most difficult part you need to make sure that everything functions that everything works and then I also got to get some sort of a building that I got to fit in here. And I don't want the building to be too big. So I want to make like a double story building. The bottom part needs to house the whole automatic chicken farm. And the top area I want more of like a storage area. A place where I can use the eggs to make some pies. And just get a bit of interact. You know, a nice little area at the top where we get to make little, different little things. Like a, a little... Uh, preparation area or like a little kitchen where you you get to process um, the, the the chicken and the eggs and all the fun things you get to do with uh, chickens so yeah I think this is looking fairly good the space is, is good for me and I think the way it is being set up really looks good I think this is gonna turn out to be a really really awesome uh, chicken area so I also like to separate my farm. So with all my farms, I have the automat automatic section on the one side and the other side. I want to also make it look look nice. You know, it must look like a beautiful farming area, a farming community. And the shape of the buildings are really coming together for me. So I like the contrast, but I'm still sticking to the deep slate type of roofs. The cobblestone base of it. That's kind of like where I, where I want to stick with that. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to change the palette there. But this is going to be the entrance area, so you can literally walk in here, and then you're going to have access to the farm itself. Um, obviously, I need a bit of a fenced off area because I do want some chickens to run around around the chicken coop. Um, so this is almost just going to be from an aesthetic perspective, but I think it's going to look so cool with your little chickens running around, and it really looks kind of cool with them um, having their little chicken coop. So this is going to be a functional area, but as well, I want to make everything as automatic as I can because I just want to be gathering up resources when I have specific things that I need to get done. Oof, this is coming in a bit tight here. Uh, we'll see in the build if it really fits that. Um, it just gives an overview area. Now, as soon as I've laid out the area, I also want to just, you know, have a, a bird's eye view as well. Now, just to get an idea, am I happy with where everything is before I start building? Now, I am not one of those creative design type. I design things in my actual episodes. So I would literally just lay out where I think things are going to go, where I want to keep everything. And then from there, I simply start building and I break away what I don't like and I include what I do like. And that's pretty much how I do it. But I think now I just need to get a top view of this and see if this is really the layout that I want to go for. So let us quickly uh, get a tower up here. Maybe use some, some blocks and just tower up and see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's have a look at this. Uh, yeah, I think it's really fitting into the area. I'm just going to have to push that, that back in the wall a bit there back. But other than that, I think there's enough space for the chicken coop, enough space for the redstone farm at the back, and it really fits into this area. I'm actually quite surprised how well it fits in. It looks absolutely stunning. All right, so step number two would now be to actually start building the farm. So I need to go and just grab a couple of supplies here in my house. There's my little kitty cat on her pink carpet and I do have a lot of fairies or elays here and they like to groove and I like to groove with them so let us groove a bit where are you oh there you are my little fairies they dance so cute don't they just look so so cute so um yeah I'm keeping them a house until I have a little place where I can you know give them a safe space where they can live so I've got them floating around all over it's actually such a nice vibe because it looks like the little fairies are busy packing up my entire entire area and I really really love that all right so I've got the resources it is night I need to just uh, 
grab a couple more things here. I need to be melting down some uh, some stone. I don't have enough uh, cobblestone, uh, so I need to do it into some nice face bricks. So let me grab some some molten lava here. And I'll just keep the buckets full and make sure that everything is melted down. So this is really becoming a very functional area. I'm going to finish it off as I go. It was completely finished off until it burned down and then I finished it again and then it burned down again. So that was a bit hectic. But in this episode, we will look at how to do everything better and more awesome. So, right, let me just pack away this lava and then I think it is on to getting that redstone farm done. I think that's the important part as soon as this cobblestone is done I can use that as the base but while this is cooking down I think I can actually start on on the actual chicken farm yeah I think I need to maybe just get going on the redstone part of it make sure everything is functioning properly um, and then yeah you know and I also got to finish off this building and I'm also gonna need cobblestone for that but now there's everything that we need for our automatic chicken farm uh, so yeah, now it is time to kick away. So phase one is actually setting up the bottom section. Making sure that we have the entire redstone thing functioning properly. So chest is very important. I like to do a double chest because it just allows me to get enough uh, storage at that point. If it does run over, then I will just build more chests below that. Uh, for now or maybe I'll do an opposite building on the other side we'll see but for now one should be fine all right now what do I need next okay I need some some extra cobblestone here so let's see okay so I need to place down some stone here yeah that looks fine okay yeah that does look fine all right, yeah, that's working out really well. That's looking good. I need to place another one on top. Yes, so one is going to spit out the lava. The bottom one is going to spit out the eggs. That is looking good. Okay, that is to house the actual little chickens in so that when they grow up, the lava actually comes out and cooks them for me. I don't know how effective this farm is. This is the first one that I'm building. I normally have another one that I build, but I did see this uh, farm on YouTube and I thought wow let me give it a try it is another creator maybe his farm works better than the one that I have and we are going to see how this thing is functioning if it doesn't function too well we will make some adjustments or I will go back to my old version of building all right so yeah guys let's go into a quick music overview or overlay and then you guys can watch how I build this redstone farm chicken farm
now the last thing I need to do is I need to get the little chicks inside of the actual main area and as soon as they grow up and lay some more eggs they will get shot into the other tube and that's where they will grow up and the moment that they grow up the larva will come out and cook them for me and the hopper will then catch the meat and will catch the feathers so this is my fun part let's get some chickies going in here or, oh that's two cool let's just bump that one in oh that is looking okay so we got two oh sorry chicks sorry guys i know but i want to get you guys some more brothers and sisters in here oh there we go we got three not too bad let's see if we can maybe get another two out of this oh, we shoot a little bit higher i'm shooting them on the head ah there we go number four unfortunately only four but that's cool that's a great start i'll just keep breeding them up until i have 24 in there and then that farm would be at its maximum capacity but that is pretty much what my chicken farm looks like this is an automatic chicken redstone farm that is going to do the whole thing for me all right that is it for the build guys so i just wanted to give you guys a grand tour i did finish the rest off camera uh, but I wanted to give you guys a whole view of what it looks like before I finish off this episode. So at the back there you can see I did a nice chicken coop. Really, really nice. You know, on the front end I also did this beautiful um, farming area in the front with the weeds. Because obviously the chickens love the seeds. So that is really looking beautiful. I really like the way this whole thing came together. Now... I mean let's just have the grand tour i want to show you guys everything because i think it's really really gonna look so beautiful i mean just look at that as you're coming up you've got the chicken coop in the front you've got the 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 chicken farm at the back and obviously as you walk in you've got the redstone with some decorations there's the chickens everything functioning nicely got the chickens coming in got the feathers coming in so not too bad it's not producing as much as I thought, so maybe I would look at another one. But um, yeah, here in the top section, I just did a standard little uh, little room where you've got a bit of a base and a beautiful little area where you just process the chicken. You know, but you've got to come up there. There's some some place for you to store the feathers. Here's a beautiful wheat field at the back. Here, I did put in a hopper system. So I can capture eggs and it's capturing eggs like crazy. So I've got to get some pumpkins going to get some uh, pie done. Uh, so maybe the next thing is I also got to get an automatic wheat farm going. Um, as well as a sugar cane. Because I need the sugar for the books, the paper, but as well for the pies. Because let's be honest, Minecraft pies are delicious. Right, here's the chicken area. So I've got a couple of chickens running around. I've got some wheat growing here. You know, just beautiful. My little chickies has got some area i do breed them up every now and then and then obviously i've got the inside area which is the actual chickens that i'm collecting the eggs from and these poor little chickens are giving me so much eggs i mean and they've got i mean they've got a royal life guys i mean just think about it they are walking around the carpet they're being fed and being taken care of so nicely but guys this would be a wrap for this episode thank you so much for joining me on this journey today it was awesome spending this time with you guys showing you guys my build and guys please do give a like and subscribe to my channel you know i am a little channel and i want more people and i want more people to share my journey with and as you guys can see i've got some really cute little slippers if, if, you, if you're just coming for the slippers please give a like for the slippers other than that guys thank you so much for joining me and uh, being able to share my love for Minecraft with you guys. And as I always end off every single episode. Ciao, ciao guys.